in, in, your, in your rock star status. So just kind of who are you? Why would anybody care about what you have to say? Okay. Well, um, I teach chemistry. I'm, my name is Heidi Campbell, and I teach chemistry at the College of Southern Idaho. My background is that I got my bachelor's at Utah State in chemistry. That was quite a shock to me. I did not <laughs> plan that. I uh, thought I hated chemistry, in fact, going into college. I had not enjoyed it in high school. It had felt like just a list of things to memorize, and I, I didn't have, I see in retrospect, a very good attitude about it. <laughs> um, but then in college, I had really enjoyed math and physics and thought, well, a practical way to apply that math and physics info would be engineering. And as an engineering major, they made me take chemistry. <laughs> and it was just so different. And it wasn't a, an amazing, spectacular teacher. It was just, I think I was more mature and my attitude was a little different. And I saw that it wasn't this list of topics to memorize and repeat out on a test. It was patterns. Mm -hmm. It was patterns all around me. The air I breathe and in my body and the desk and the chair and everything was this chemical material. It's a language. And it is a language, it's, it's, absolutely. It's learning a new language. Yeah. And I just I just fell in love with it that mm -hmm. first semester in college and changed my major. Okay. So um, then I'm approaching graduation. What am I going to do with a chemistry degree? And I was always really fascinated with how the chemistry could be inside of me. My body works on chemistry. Mm -hmm. And so that biology and chemistry overlap, I decided to get my doctorate in biological chemistry. I went to the University of Michigan and spent six years there doing some teaching and some research. My research was mostly on lipids, the fat molecules, and most of us think of those as the parts of our bodies we wish we didn't have, but the lipids are actually really vital. We need our fats. Oh, they sure. are critical in our brains especially, mm -hmm. but all of our cells mm -hmm. have membranes that are made out of fats. Mm -hmm. And so my research was how some of these fat molecules are synthesized um, that led to some overlap with bacterial world where they don't use all the same molecules for their cell membranes but they tweak them and put them on their cell walls okay. which then become well am I going to be susceptible to this antibiotic penicillin or not? Oh I got you. I got you. It involved some microbiology and some antibiotic resistance and it was kind of a Fun, exciting project. Oh, I bet, I bet. And, 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 yeah, I, I can see where that, how you connect the dots. Right. How you get from here to there. And so how did you wind up here at CSI? Well, so I was really pursuing a, a research track and hitting the research pretty hard. I went and did a postdoc at the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston. And there, they don't have undergrads, really. They have researchers, the postdocs and the grad students, and they have medical students. So I wasn't getting the teaching opportunities in mm. Houston, and I started to realize that I missed it. Mm. And I was volunteering for all the lab training stuff, but I wasn't getting into the classroom where you got to explain ideas and concepts more, and not just, well, here's how you do these concrete tasks. Mm -hmm. the, uh, there was the skills teaching, but not so much the ideas teaching. Th that, so. that Votech biology is not where you wanted to be. You, you wanted to cover it in a broader right. way. Right. I gotcha, I gotcha. And, and so, so go ahead. And so there was that, and there was, I think I'm getting to the age where I may start to want a family, and do I want to have children when it's me and my husband and no one else? I mm. prefer to maybe have some extended family around. And so started looking for teaching positions that would bring me back to the Mountain West. Mm. My family and my husband's family are all mostly in Utah. Okay. So so close enough. Yeah, close enough. Three hour but, drive. But not too of, close. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Instead of a three hour plane ride or sure. 